Hey guys, welcome back to WDYDCSP. What do you do as a central store processor? Guys, I am making a video because I've gotten so many comments stating that you should not be dumping instruments. And yet there is no documentation out there supporting that belief that you should not be dumping and that you should only be picking out of baskets, okay? In fact, OSHA, which is a regulatory agency, 1910.1030, states that personnel should take caution not to reach into bins to avoid getting stuck or into bins containing soiled instruments to protect themselves from blood-borne pathogens. You should not be reaching into any container, all right? Now, if you look at some of our training videos, they tell you that you can use a sponge stick to grab instruments, okay? Never in the history of the 10 years I've been working, 11 years going, have I seen anybody do this? Okay, what I do see people doing is this. Okay, but anyway, here we go. I'm a scrub tech. I finished scrubbing. How should my instruments be sent to decon? Mm -hmm. They should be pre-cleaned. Okay. They should be in the open position. I'm not going to open that driver up because it's too big. That uh, sponge stick. And I'm going to show you how it should be coming to decon, guys. This is going to be a long video, so stay tuned. All right. So we are... Opening all our instruments on nice and butterflied. Oh man, this is beautiful, guys. I love it. Love it. This is the way all ORs should be sending the instruments back. Hey, any retractors, heavy instruments in the bottom. All right, instruments all facing the same way to protect them, okay? All right. We got our instruments all opened up and butterfly. We're gonna add our pre-treatment, okay? Pre-treatment added, enclosed container, comes over to Decon. I got my, I, I see that it's been pre-treated. I have my PPE on. Now I need to rinse, soak, wash, rinse my instruments. If I am rinsing in the basket, then I need to soak these instruments, okay? Now, do I take this whole basket and dump it into the into the soak water to let it soak? If you're doing that, you're improperly cleaning instruments. I'm gonna say it again. If you're doing that, you're improperly cleaning instruments, okay? Because now, once you soak to loosen up the soil, you need to grab each one of these instruments one by one to brush and scrub. Okay, and where are you going to put them back at? Outside the basket or inside the basket while it's underwater? This is already kind of compact. You see this, guys? You really can't see the scissors in that, really, can you? Can you identify where the scissors are at? If they're sticking straight up and I'm sticking my hand in there, I'm going to wind up jabbing myself. OSHA 1910-1030 says you shouldn't be reaching into containers or bins to avoid being stuck by items that are soiled, okay? This is not safe to be used on a patient, so it's not safe for the person who's assembling it, regardless of whether it's deemed safe to handle. But if you get jabbed, you're still getting stuck. You still need to report it to occupational health. You still need to follow the protocols, correct? Am I correct or am I not correct? Anyway, if you're soaking this in this container, you're doing it incorrectly. These items should be taken out. So should you be taking them out one by one? Yeah, you can. You can. But what happens as I'm taking these instruments out and I reach down? Unintentionally. It's not intentionally. Reach down and I get stuck. Okay? Here are some sharp sun retractors. They can go through a glove very easily. There's a sharp wheat lander in there. Easily can go through a glove. Okay? Straight hemostat. Easily can stick you. 
Okay, you have to take all the instruments out the basket. If you're doing it carefully, it shouldn't matter whether you do it one by one or you slide it out. This gets rinsed, put in the soap water to soak, rinse the bio burden out, put it in the sink. Rinse the bio burden in the sink, blah, 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 over and over and over and over again. All right, how does it go back? How does it go into the washer? All right, we do it the same way. And my suggestion is to take sharps like scissors or your forceps, sharps such as sends face down into the basket. Okay. Take all your instruments, sharps, down in the basket. Okay. Here we go. Scissors, face down into the basket. Okay. And here's the other thing. The best practice, yes, is to butterfly your instruments and have them standing straight up. That's the best practice. The standard practice is that instruments are butterflied and laid flat in the basket. Is that an acceptable standard? Yes, it is, guys. Is it the best practice? No, it's not, guys. Okay? Not every facility can follow a best practice. So is this acceptable to send through the washer? Yes, it is, guys. It is, okay? They're all open. They're all exposed. They all get exposed to water, okay? You can say that because they look like they're spaghetti stringed, that they can't get exposure to the cleaning process. But if you did the manual process correctly, it doesn't matter if they're laying flat I'm just going to do a couple of them for the sake of time, okay? It doesn't matter if they're standing straight up like this. You want to know why? Because you're going to get impingement in the top to get all that. But guess what? Those box locks, because the instruments are together, you're still covering up some of them box locks, guys. The exposure is still the same. It's the same exposure. And when you get over to the prep and pack side, again, we're humans. And human air is always going to be in there, okay? And if you're reaching into a basket, even though it went through the washer cycle, and there's a disinfection cycle in that washer cycle, again, OSHA 1910.1030 10 states that you should not be reaching into a basket where sharps aren't readily visible. In this basket alone, guys, look at this basket, look at the picture. Can you identify where the sharp sends are at very quickly? I'm looking right at it right now and no, I can't. I can't even see that wheat lander, that sharp wheat lander. And I'm looking for it and I know it's in there guys. It's in there. Dumping is not a bad thing, guys. Slamming is a bad thing. Peace.